a shed for Edward. Sheds repaired, two of you engines will have to find new homes. Uh, Edward, where can we house you? Oh, 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 please, sir. Edward could come and share my shed. Thank you, Philip. Yay, a sleepover. <gasps> oh, this is going to be so much fun. Oh, Thomas, there's an empty shed for you at Knockford. Here we are, Edward. Come in, come in. Make yourself at home. Uh, thank you, Philip. Oh, dear. Time for me to get some shut-eye. You know, James must have been going really fast to have a crash like that. Yes, much too fast. Anyway, good night, Philip. Have you ever gone really fast, Edward? Have you ever had a nasty accident? <laughs> I really should get some sleep now. Did I ever tell you about the time I had a race with Gordon? It was really brilliant, actually. Oh, yeah, it was me who rescued James when he came off the bridge and landed on top of me. Well, thank you again for letting me stay the night. We must do it again sometime. Yes. Well, you're coming back tonight, aren't you? Oh, I, um, we'll see. I'd better get going. <laughs> Bye, Philip. See you tonight. Oh, dear. It's going to be a while yet before this place is all fixed up again. Could take at least a week. A week? Lucky you've got a nice, quiet place to sleep, Edward. <laughs> <gasps> I have to find somewhere peaceful to sleep tonight. Ah, of course you can drop anchor with us, shipmate. <laughs> ah. Oh, yes. I'm so looking forward to a decent night's sleep. Ah, peace. Perfect peace. Arr. Twas a dark <laughs> night. And the wind she did blow, and the ship was frail and tiny. Salty? Sorry, I forgot to tell you. Salty often sings sea shanties in his sleep. It took me a while to get used to it, but now I can't fall asleep without them. Ships at the bottom of the deep blue sea, singing a yo ho ho. You look tired. Uh, oh. oh, it was such fun when you stayed the night at my shed. But I thought you would come back again last night. Didn't you like it there? How about the size? Was it big enough? Too big? Too small? Oh, it was too small, wasn't it? What about the... I have to go now. Bye. Have a good night's sleep, my friend. Sorry, my friend. We have a second crew working all night to get James repaired as soon as possible.
won't. Edward, are you okay? Oh no, he's asleep. Oh no, Edward, please, you have to wake up. Edward. Sorry, Percy. And thank you, Philip. Oh, that's what friends are for. But it's a shame you don't like staying in my shed anymore. It's not that. It's just... Well, I really need my sleep, and I can't stay up all night talking. Oh, you should have said, Edward. I can be a bit of a chatterbox, can't I? But don't worry. This time, I'll try really hard not to disturb you. Oh... Thank you, Philip. Uh, Edward, are you awake? I just wanted to say... No, I don't need to say anything. Edward needs his sleep. Mm. Hello, Edward. The work's all finished, and everyone's moved back in, including James. Oh, I wish you could stay with me. <laughs> I'm sure Edward can't wait to get back to his own shed. Um, well... Perhaps I could stay one more night huh? with Philip, if that's all right with you, sir. You uh, can stay as long as you like. Forever, even. Well, it is nearer my branch line. Well, Edward, if you want to move to Wellsworth, that's fine by me. Yay! Brilliant! Oh, you hear that, Thomas? I have a new roommate. <laughs> we'll miss you here at the sheds, Edward. I'm sure we'll see each other all the time. We're going to have some great times, eh, Edward? Me and you in the same shed. Wellsworth is a lovely station, too, you know. It, oops, <laughs> there I go again, talking too much. <laughs> you can talk just as much as you like, Philip. Just not while I'm trying to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder who will be joining us here at Tidmouth Sheds? Well, we'll just have to wait and see.